everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Guitar and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for March 18th to March 24th, uh, 2019 and while I'm shuffling the cards once again guys, uh, I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for Leo Star Sign and uh, for that reason, uh, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and uh, as well in a different level with uh, every single uh, different Leo. So uh, if you want more personal touch, however, upon your personal situation that is to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give it a, a predictions uh, for the future, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video, that is going to be a, a subject of a uh, personal reading and uh, for such you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing, uh, which starts from just as little as $12 because I decided to keep the uh, reduced pricings for the month of March as well from um, month of February. So they were reduced at the month of February just for one month, but I decided to extend them for a, another month. So. <clears throat> That being said, going to the Leo reading straight away, the first card, uh, which is marking the topic of your week, that is going to be the Page of Cups, followed by the second card, which is how you should not approach the situation or the topic here with the page that is going to be the Six of Swords. Third card that we do have, that is going to be how you should approach uh, the topic. This is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. And uh, the last one, which is the outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. So once again, we do have topic here, Page of Cups, followed by the Six of Swords, which is the uh, negative approach. Seven of Pentacles, that is the positive approach. And the last one, that is going to be the uh, Four of Pentacles, which is the final outcome of growth. So, uh, interesting week for you, Leos. It's going to revolve around the person here with the page as a prime subject. <clears throat> and uh, it does look like that throughout this week, uh, you will have to be kind of decisive when you are uh, very decisive and determined when it comes to um, involving yourself with that person. Uh, that is because the page itself, you cannot get this one wrong in Tarot and we do have a page and symbolizes a person. That means that this person, person has some sort something emotional for you. Because it's a page, however, it could relate as well to a child. So that could be your child. But in such presented cards, it means that this person is kind of, they, 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 they have lost their way, okay? They don't know how they stand. Giving you a straight away on an ex example here, that could be a, a guy who likes you, but they don't know how they stand in front of you. They don't know, do you like them or not? They don't know what's, uh, what kind of impression they're doing in front of you and so on and so forth. The thing is that uh, the page always breeds change into one life. So you allowing this person to take bigger parts of your life, that is definitely going to uh, provoke change in the long term either through beautiful friendship or either through uh, pregnancy as well because uh, the page is also a sign of pregnancy moving forward with um, in the future as well should we talk about personal relationship or a long-term project and so on and so forth but the thing is that this uh, this person truly depends on you they count on you and they uh, are just waiting for you to uh, make your mind, if you want to say it, uh, if you want to say it that way. So they know how really stand, and they know what kind of positions they should incorporate. But as with the page, should you be after a romantic relationship, Leo's this card it is a sign that around you there is someone who is emotionally involved with you or rather like they do have an emotions towards you and uh, it will be a, a wise move from your behalf to recognize that person 
and make up your mind because these cars there's no point that that necessarily is going to be a romantic involvement but you need to make them aware how you stand and what you are expecting from them so they can accurately adopt positions towards you as well the accompanied card here this is going to be the four of swords so the formation is passive neutrals and uh, it's, it also speaks for inactivity or rather like the page it is very frustrated when there is no activity whatsoever then the, when there is no progress whatsoever and they could get desperate to a point where they could start um, creating obstacles just so you can see that they exist okay so to me if if that is about romantic involvement that is someone from your peripheral uh, field that haven't yet you haven't yet get to know them well and so they can uh, provoke your attention here they can provoke you know your attitude and your interest they are uh, making up plights they are making up problems and they're making up uh, a certain, how can I place it, imaginary, um, imaginary difficulties that either are gonna happen or either that this person is going through just in a desperate attempt once again to connect with you in a certain, uh, in a certain level. Uh, like I said, that could be your child, uh, which in this case, it does mean, you know, that your child will require your attention more than uh, more than ever before. And uh, with this card, you should not, these cards, you should not neglect that need because um, at that point, it does look like that your child requires your, um, your advice how they should tackle a certain, uh, a certain problem they are facing, either at school or at the daycare and so on and so forth. And you need to be an example for them. Otherwise, they will start making shenanigans until you don't start paying attention to their needs. It's all, it, it is all about their needs. So going to the second card here, Leo, which is how you should not approach the situation. And that is with the six of swords, meaning, you know, risky moves. It is all about that is you have to be, like I said, very determined and very elaborative when it comes to explaining your standpoint, especially talking about business partnership and romantically in, or a partnership with romantic interests, saying uh, a suitor or rather like you know a person that likes you start making shenanigans around you just so you can uh, see that they exist and so on and so forth and as soon as that happen you have to be pretty accurate with your mind or make up your mind straight away what you want from that and how you want to take off from now on and basically you know kind of like display it instead of uh, playing it as a wild card and or in the worst case scenario here, uh, passing on it until that is the only option available uh, for you. That is because you're gonna hurt their feelings and not for anything else. But with the Six of Swords here into a negative position, it means that you need to play on secure, meaning that uh, you know you have to basically make up your standpoints straight away. Uh, do you like that guy or girl? You know, do you see a business partnership lucrative? Or in general, do you want to have anything to do with this person? Now, uh, with the Six of Swords, uh, there are going to be a lot of differences in between the two as this card falls into a negative position. But should there be a, a, a meaningful conversations in between you two, you know, in between and your, and your new suitor, for example, or in between uh, you and your new business partner, or in between you and the colleague that steps out, definitely things can be combined upon the common goal. Should there be a, a sense of compromise? that can be exerted in the situation. Uh, on top of that, we do have the Tree of Swords, which is a company card, the Catalyst card. Here, the formation is active supporters. And uh, what the Tree of Swords points is that you should not be, uh, how can I place it, premeditated regarding previous experiences. 
and especially at that point well i don't know how to explain it but i will try to present it to you with a situation you know let's say that um you are in a college you are in college and um that boy which is you know with glasses and it studies so much i don't know how to call it but i think that with the movies that i have uh, watched until this very moment they call them retards you know um, these people that are study a lot they don't party they don't go out they just you know devour every textbook that they can uh, come across to you know and that person kind of like displays their intentions towards you that they like you and so on and so forth don't be mean that is what the card points and don't don't concern yourself with what uh with what others are gonna think of it but just make up your point if you like the guy or if you like the girl you know uh, the opinion of others should not be a prerequisite of, of that you should of you not making up something for that future possibility of being in a relationship that is my point same goes uh regarding um regarding business as well and regarding uh helping to a colleague at, at your job and so on and so forth um let's say you know that you someone asks you for help uh into your um into your work into your career but everybody has really low opinion for that guy or for that girl and they kind of like what, what do you call it in English, guys? They taunt you for that you are helping them. That should not concern you at all, that these people are taunting, uh, are taunting you at all. Um, my point here is, is that uh, the opinion of others should matter less uh, or should not matter at all for what kind of decision and standpoint you are going to get regarding this person who once again has an, an emotional attachment to you. So the one who approaches you throughout that week, which seems kind of lost, scattered, a bit, um, how can I place it? Um, a bit hectic with uh, how they perform towards you means that, you know, it is because they don't want to, they don't want to basically, uh, shoot all of their uh, all of their arsenal or waste all of their arrows and are trying to uh, adopt certain positions it is, and it is because you know you are not giving them a clear sign it is why they are acting in a such um, ridiculous fashion preposterous fashion but as soon as you make your uh, standpoint, for example, yes, I like you, no, I don't like you, or yes, I'm gonna help you, no, I'm not gonna help you, and so on and so forth, this hectic behavior, embarrassing behavior is gonna end up, and uh, for what it seems, things are looking very good for very, very beautiful cooperation here, but again, it is entirely depending on you. So how you should approach the page here, that is the Seven of Pentacles. First and foremost, you got to make aware the page that this ain't a, a child's play. What I mean is that if you associate with them, things has to be brought to the very end. Meaning that if this is about romantic relationship, you are not someone that they can simply, you know, explore and bail out afterwards. So the point here with the Seven of Pentacles is that you should... Uh, before you decide should you involve yourself with the page or not, you need to very well scale that the means will justify the results and you have to be very smart about it. Giving you straight away the example of the high school here, you know, yeah, that person could be a retard, but if they study so much, when they grow, they will have a very good job. For example, a lawyer, engineer, someone with a very, very fat salary, you know, very, um, yeah, it's a fat and tasty salary that it is simply going to resolve all of your uh, financial needs. For example, while if you go to the tough guy that cannot spell even his name right, how is he about to provide you when you go when you start growing mature and old so you gotta be smart about your decision you have to try to analyze the page which is emotionally connected with you how much as a uh, it's not even about benefits you know but how 
productive and helpful you are going to be toward one another because what like i said the page always uh, foresee change and one way or another should you allow that person to be in your life they're going to change it okay and that change is going to be for the better but in the same time you need to make aware that person that page your son for example your daughter your suitor, your business partner, the should they be allowed to enter in your life, they are to be expected to give the very best out of them and no shenanigans are going to be tolerated whatsoever. Because with the, ten, uh, with the seven of pentacles, when you involve yourself into someone, you have to get out of it just as much as you invest in it, okay? But the, uh, the benefits, can be different from um, from what you're investing. For example, you may invest money, okay? You may get respect. They are not equal uh, in, um, in manifestation, but equal in measure, okay? You may get influence, you may invest influence in it, you may, you may get money from it. But in the same time, you should not feel bad of investing into it, but in order to do so, you need to get your time or you need to yeah, take your time here in order to um, analyze very well how well this page, this person is going to change your life because it is what they are going to do one way or another, regardless if this is your child regardless if this is going to be, like I said, business partner or a suitor. As a matter of fact, let's say it's about your child and they want to start their own business and they don't know how they stand because they need your support. They don't know if you're going to lend them money or not. So, you know, they're trying uh, to give you hints with the shenanigans and so on and so forth. So you have to be confronting. You have to say, okay, stop doing that and just tell me what you want. And as soon as you have these fruitful conversations, you have to make up your mind, is this productive, what you have been proposed or not, and decide should you act upon it or not. Uh, but with the Seven of Pentacles, the obvious uh, right choice uh, or the right choice is going to become obvious for you should you not rush your decision. The accompanied card that is to be the Page of Pentacles here, so the formation is passive supporters. And uh, with this card, it is definitely worth it, but in the same time, it does says it is just a confirmation once again that the, just, that the means should justify, or the results should justify the needs, the means, excuse me, and in the same time, uh, should you invest yourself into this endeavor with this person, things has to go to the very end and you have to basically make them aware of so that they cannot just simply bail out on you. But apart from that as well, it will require from you huge devotion once again, guys. And uh, I don't know how to explain it really, but uh, it, it, it also has something to do with the opinion of the others. They, with this tree of swords in a negative position, you know, your current friends are gonna be a little bit rough on you. You know, it's kind of like they will tell you, are you, are you serious about it? Um, you're not thinking straight, so on and so forth, to a point where you even could be insulted in a certain ways, you know, for example, how can you, you know, associate yourself with this retard? Are you a retard like them? And so on and so forth. But uh, once again, uh, even when, when we talk about love, these cards are confirmation that one love goes more than just the skin deep, you know, and you have to see the beauty within rather than the outside. Well, it is important to have it outside, you know, but what is more important is to have it within as well. And that is your quest here, guys, seeking the beauty within, either into one endeavor or either into one person in this case as well. Uh, but uh, whatever the case is with you, it does look like that it will as well require from you to change, to make a critical assessment of yourself uh, of your criteria and to be more attending to the overview rather than to the minor details, meaning what others are gonna tell about what you are chasing and what you are following. And should you completely neglect the um, opinion of others, 
and as well you know uh, make your intentions clear here and uh, also analyze the situation well and invest just as much as uh, you are going to get out of it we do have the four of pentacles at the end so at the end of the week you are going to sit on the already established concept which means that you are going to be pretty pretty aware how much you're going to benefit from the situation itself it is likely that you are going to be happy as well and this card points that you have secured yourself a much more stable future than before so that person is going to be a provider for you they are going to provide something substantial for your security for your comfort as well and in generally for your life to feel like i said much more secure and much more um how do you say it when you simply don't have any issues for the future is it again security because in my language is a completely different word but uh here it is more like you know you will have much more predict predictability for the future you're gonna be forewarned and therefore forearmed but the precautionary measures are going to be taken here to diminish any kind of issues that could jeopardize um, the bright future ahead of you in this specific field that this person manifests himself and the accompanied card here is the moon which uh, the formation is passive friends and it just consolidate what i said with the four of uh with the four of pentacles the moon here points is that there won't be any insecurity guys and you will be pretty much aware how you stand and what path you should take from now on in order to be comfortable and above everything else to be lucr uh, lucrative and solidified into your position either regarding family either regarding career or either regarding relationship it is just giving a chance to this person to enter in your life and to provoke change in it so that being said leo this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, march 18th to march 24th 2019 i hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was a general reading for leo star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different leo but if you want more personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot then that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find full list of my services and as well their pricings on a very uh, front page which are by the way starting from just as little as uh, 12 dollars for reason being i decided to keep the sales the, re the special sales for the month of march as well Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.